In today's machine learning class, we will see the second part of exploring numerical data, which is the extension of exploring the structure of data. Okay, from first unit. In mathematical plots to explore numerical data, there are two types. First one is box plot. So this is the diagram for box plot. And second one is histogram. So these are different histogram diagrams. Okay, let us see details in our uh, the forthcoming slides. Exploring numerical data. There are two most effective mathematical plots of exploring numerical data. First one is box plot and second one is histogram. First, let us see the box plot. Okay, it is an excellent visualization medium for numerical data and it is used to identify the outliers if there is present in the data set. Okay. So, box plot is otherwise called as Whisker plot. It displays five number summary of your data set. So, as we seen in the previous video, that is the first part of this video, the five numbers are first one is minimum and second one is Q1 and third one is median, fourth one is Q3 and fifth one is maximum. Okay, so this is Five number summary, minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, maximum. Okay. And in the box plot, we can draw the box from first quartile to third quartile. So, the box will be drawn from first quartile to third quartile only. Okay. And the dark horizontal line which represent the median. Right. And the whiskers go from each quartile to minimum or maximum. So, so minimum or maximum, the whisker will go. Right? So, this is box plot. Here, the lower whisker extends up to 1.0 times of interquartile range, that is IQR. Okay, from bottom of the box. So, from this bottom of the box. The lower whisker can extend up to 1.5 times, 1 .5 times of IQR. Okay. It may be somewhat less than minimum sometimes. Okay. That means Q1 minus 1.5 into IQR. Let us see one example so that we can easily understand the concept. Right. Uh, in a data set. Q1 is 73. Okay. So, this is Q1. Q1 is 73. Right. Median is 76. So, this is 76 median. Right. Q3 is 79. So, this value is 79. Right. Here, the IQR, interquartile range is 6. Okay. That means Q3 minus Q1. Right. Q3 is 79. Q1 is 73. So, the difference is 6. Now, the lower whisker. We need to compute the lower whisker. Okay. That is Q1 minus 1.5 into IQR. That is 73 minus 1.5 into 6. That means the lower whisker value is 64. Okay. 64 may be here. Right. Right. So, this is 64 and the lower range data values are 70, 70 is here and 63, 63 may be here and 60. So, this one. Okay. Now, the lower whisker will come at 70 because this is the lowest value larger than 64. Okay, because the computed value is 64, from the 64 which is the largest value, that is 70. Hence, so this is the lowest whisker value. Similarly, the upper whisker, which can also extend up to 1.5 times of the IQR, that is interquartile range. Okay, that is uh, from the third quartile, from here. Right. So, the actual length of upper whisker is also dependent on highest data values that falls within 
q3 plus here the plus value will be added because the value will fall above q3 okay plus 1.5 times of iqr uh, here let us take the same data set to explain upper whisker also and it can extend maximum uh, till that is the third quartile q3 plus 1.5 into iqr okay so we know the third quartile value is 79 and the iqr is 6 that is the difference between q1 and q3 that is 6 right so 79 plus 1.5 into 6 which is equal to 88 okay here if the highest range data are 82 84 and 89 now the upper whisker will come at 84 is the next uh, data lower than 88 okay so next lower than 88 is only 84 okay so the data values come beyond the lower or upper whisker are unusually low or high values respectively okay so the data values beyond the upper whisker and lower whisker are called as outliers okay hence the outliers may deserve for special consideration because the values should be inside the minimum to maximum value and now let us visualize the box plot for uh, the attributes uh, cylinders displacement origin and model year okay uh, first let us see the box plot for attribute cylinders okay so here uh, the upper whisker is missing okay there is no upper whisker and the median falls in see the median band is falls in q1 okay bottom of the box and the lower whisker is also very small lower whisker is also very small okay uh, that means the cylinder attribute is discrete in nature and the values lies between 3 to 8 only and maximum values are only here that is the 4. Uh, this table explains the frequency and cumulative frequency of the cylinder attribute. Okay, So from this table we can understand that uh, the cylinder 4 the frequency is 204. Okay, when come to cylinder 6, the frequency is 84 and cylinder 8, the frequency is 103. Okay, so because of this frequency, um, the Q4 and median are only 4. Okay, Q4 and median are only 4 because the total number of records are 398. So, in 398, 204 are uh, the cylinder 4. 204 records are the cylinder 4. Hence, the Q1 and median are only 4. Okay. And Q3 is 8. Q3 is 8. Here, there is no data beyond 8. So, 8. Hence, there is no upper whisker. Okay. So, lower whisker is here, but there is no upper whisker. Right. Here, the Q1 is 4 and median is also 4. Okay. So, the band of median lies at the bottom of the box. That means more number of records are containing the value 4 of in cylinder attribute. Okay. Here, the lower whisker is very small. That means the lower whisker can be minus 2. Okay. That is the nearby value of 3. Okay. So, uh, the lower whisker is very short and the values beyond uh, that is below 3 and above 8 are not at all possible here. And next let us analyze the attribute origin. This is also discrete in nature. The values are only 3 values 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here the maximum values are only 1, the origin 1. Okay. 
249 values. That is 249 records are having the origin value is 1. Okay. Because of this, the minimum the, and Q1 and the median, everything will be 1. Okay. There is no lower whisker. And this is Q3 and this is upper whisker. Okay. When come to the box plot of displacement, here uh, the lower whisker is very small. Okay. That is the lower whisker is much smaller than the upper whisker and the band for the median is closer to the bottom of the box. So this is the median. Band for median. This is closest to bottom of the box. This is Q1, this is median and this is Q3. And next let us see the attribute model here. Okay, the box plot for this model here looks perfect. Okay, the first quartile Q1 is 73. So this is Q1 and median is 76. So this is median and Q3 is 79. So this is Q3. Okay, so the difference between Q1 and Q3 are exactly equal and median. So Q1, Q3, median the difference are exactly equal and median is exactly the middle of the box. See, it lies exactly at the middle of the box. So, the next type of uh, plotting and exploring numerical data is histogram. Okay. So, the histogram is very much helpful to understand the distribution of numerical data into series of intervals and also in terms of bins. Okay. Here the histogram is composed of number of bars. Number of bars that is vertical bars. One bar appearing for each of the bin. For each bin there should be one bar. Okay. The height of the bar which reflects the total count of data elements whose value falls within the specific bin value. So, this is otherwise called as frequency. That is how many number of items are inside the bin. Okay. So, the histogram is like a bar chart. So, we know what is bar chart, isn't it? So, histogram is exactly the bar chart. And this is the different types of histograms. Okay. So, the different shapes depends on the nature of the data. Okay. So, that... Uh, by using these patterns, we can quickly understand the data and act a great data exploration tool. That is, the histogram will act as a great data exploration tool. Because by seeing those data, we can easily understand the data in the data set. Okay. Here, we are having six different types of histogram. First one is uniform. Uniform means Almost all the bins are at equal height. Right? And second one is unimodal. Unimodal means, see, this is in this model. Unimodal. That is symmetric unimodal. And left skewed. So, this is left skewed. And this is right skewed. So, this will come like this. And bimodal. Bimodal means two models are here. So, this is one model. And this is another model. That is right skewed model. And this is multi-model. Okay. Last one is multi-model. So, see here this is symmetric. And another symmetric is here. And this is right skewed. Okay. And this is left skewed. Okay. So, this is multi-model. So, in this diagram we can see the histogram of different attributes. Okay, here uh, the MPG and weight are right skewed. So, this is MPG and this is weight. Both are right skewed. Right? And uh, when come to the histogram, acceleration. Okay, so this is acceleration. This is symmetric and unimodal. So, see, this is symmetric and unimodal. Okay, when come to the model year. So, the model year is here. Okay, the model is Model year is symmetric and uniform. See, almost all the year are same. That is, all the bins are same at size. 
and all the remaining are multimodal okay so the cylinder displacement origin and horsepower are multimodal let us see the attribute acceleration somewhat close look uh, for this histogram diagram right so here each bin represent the acceleration value interval of 2 units so for each bin the interval is 2 unit okay so this is 8 to 10 2 units and 10 to 12 and this is 14 and this is 16 18 20 22 and 24 this is 26 okay so the second bin reflects the acceleration value of 10 to 12 so this is acceleration value of 10 to 12 okay it the corresponding bar chart height reflects the count of all data elements whose value lies between 10 and 12 units okay so here the number of records these record values will lies between 10 and 12 right and the evidence from the histogram that it spans over the acceleration value 8 to 26 so the histogram value 8 to 26 so here the minimum value is 8 and maximum value is 26 okay now the frequency the frequency of data elements correspond to bins keep on increasing so the bin value is keep on increasing here okay when it reach the 14 14 to 16 this range okay and it goes on the highest value 14 and 16 is the highest value okay the tallest in size so we can conclude that the maximum number of data elements fall within this range okay so in the data set maximum number of elements are 14 to 16 okay at the bar size start decreasing after this so after 16 see it start decreasing okay and the whole range at acceleration value of up to 26 so from 16 to the histogram size got decreased up to 26 and this is another uh, histogram uh, for model year it gives all values are equal okay that is uniform right here the minimum value is 70 and maximum value is 82 and almost all the histogram values are equal here okay so this is uniform model uh, so far we have seen the exploring numerical data part 2 that is the visualization of numerical data by using box plot and histogram so this is a part of exploring the structure of data from first unit so in the next class we will see exploring categorical data okay